Hey, what's up? Welcome back for another two minutes tips and tricks video. So today we're going to talk about dicks and swap artifact. So we're going to go from this to this with one single step. Let's go. Hey, welcome back guys. Uh, for those who are new, my name is Bakken again. I'm an Amorite radiographer and in my channel, I'm covering things from basic to advanced Amorite topics, tutorials, troubleshooting, just like this one. So if you haven't subscribed yet, consider doing so. So we all know that dicks and swap artifacts occur sometimes and uh, in this video, I'm going to show you something I recently found out. I'm not, I promise you that it will work every time, but it's worth trying if uh, dicks and swap occurs like I just showed you. So uh, enough talking, let's go to the scan and I'll show you. All right, we are live at 1.5 Tesla, but uh, this works the same on 3T. So uh, this is parameters of uh, T1 Vibe Dixon, as we can see in front of you here. What I did change is that I only changed one thing from uh, having this Dixon swap to not having the swap. I went into the system and then I went into adjustments. And then usually whenever you're doing live imaging, you are using the B0 shim mode of Dorman, right? So what you do, you usually do is that you drag and drop the sequence to different regions and don't have a, a thought about adjustments here. So like I did, I fall for that. And then I suddenly found that maybe I should change this to a different shim mode. So I changed it to standard, as you can see here. And then I did a rerun of the sequence and then voila, the Dixon swap was gone. So this is something you can try if you get to see the Dixon swap. And if you want to read more about the system adjustments, so whenever you're inside that parameter card and you want to know more about different uh, parameters, just push the F1 button, then you come in here to the single MR online help. And then you can scroll through the B0 shim right here. And then you suddenly you have the options to read more about the different shims and what it's all about. I went from the Dixon swap, you can see the water only. And then the fat only there. So I went from Dixon swap to non Dixon swap in the thorax area. So it's so easy as that. Only one change. But uh, to mention, it's not always working, but sometimes it's working. So it's a smart move to try that whenever you are having Dixon swap. Well, that's it, guys. Well, guys, I hope you learned something new today. I was really surprised about this approach. You know, when you take sequences, from one region to another region, it makes sense that you have to optimize it. But I never thought about adjustments and uh, all the other things, which is also important. And it might work sometimes, but it does not work every time, but it's worth trying. So a question for today, did you know about this approach? If so, let me know in the comment section down below. If you like this video, do not forget to push the like button and hit the subscribe and the notification bell. So when any new things from me are coming up, you will get a ding ding. So my last word of this video will be scan once or you have to scan twice. I'll see you next time. Peace out.